Hey there, this is Laquita with QuitaBugHandmaids.com. Thank you so much for joining me today for another Stampin' Up! tutorial. So today I am excited to share a project with you featuring some new product from um, the, well, some free product from the Celebration brochure. So remember we have our summer celebration going on where you can earn a free product um, with qualifying orders of either $50 or $100 or more. Um, so the summer celebration runs from July 1st through August 31st, 2022. Uh, so yeah, lots of great stuff in here, you guys. So there are items that you can choose with a $50 spend. You can choose those items for free. And then there are items you can choose with a $100 spend. Um, you can also, depending on the size of your order, obviously mix and match. And then there's also this item at the back here. This is the Perfect Pomegranate stamp set. And this one is available with a $300 spend. So there's a variety of stuff in here, some really fun products. Um, but today I'm gonna share an interesting project with you featuring the Sky... I'm trying to talk too fast when I get excited. The Stylish Sketches stamp set. Uh, so yeah, you've got these sketch-like images, the ducks, this little leafy piece here. Oh, I didn't even, I didn't even notice this. So that's not good because I don't have it in my case. That means I threw it away. Uh, that's not good. I'm so glad that I am talking to you guys about this set because I threw this image away. I didn't even notice that, you guys. I did not even notice that. Okay, so I'm glad I just saw that. So I'll put that, I'll mount that in a little bit. Um, anyways, so that's Stylish Sketches. And then as you can see, there's no sentiments with that one. So I decided to use the amazing phrasing and I wasn't sure how that would work because I don't feel like this font really matches these images, but I went ahead and used it and I really love uh, what I came up with. So, okay, let's go ahead and jump right into today's tutorial. And if you are interested in any of the product that you see me using today, you can find all of it linked down below in the video description and you can order directly from my online Stampin' Up! store. Again, everything is linked down below. So I'm gonna start with this piece of basic white cardstock. This is cut three inches by three inches. I'm gonna bring in my soft suede uh, ink pad. And then I've got my little sketchy ducks here. <laughs> I'm just gonna ink these up. I did re-ink this soft suede, so it was a little bit dry. Okay, so I'm just gonna stamp these um, bottom center. Okay, that looks good. And then I'm gonna bring in my foam mat here because for the um, sentiment, it is photopolymer. So I like to have that little bit of cushion. So I've got uh, petal pink here. Yeah, petal pink and then early espresso. So I'm gonna stamp the word hey from that amazing phrasing. I always wanna say amazing phrases, but it's amazing phrasing. Uh, stamp set. So I'm going to ink this up and I'm going to stamp it right about there in petal pink. Looks good. Then we're going to stamp good looking in early espresso. I thought this was so cute, the sentiment, because you've got this little duck here. He's looking at this one and I just thought, hey, good looking. I mean, what is he thinking? <laughs> I thought it was perfect. So I'm gonna put that right there. Hey, good looking. Isn't that cute? <laughs> All right, then I have got this piece of early espresso cardstock, and this is cut an eighth of an inch larger on all four sides. So you just get that really thin little border around the basic white. I'll have the exact measurements um, for everything over on today's blog post, and that's linked down below. And I'm actually gonna go ahead and just add this layer on with a little bit of liquid glue. Just to, whoops, just to give me some wiggle room here, use the liquid glue. So, okay, since we've got such a thin border. Okay, I think right there is good. And then I'm gonna bring in my blender pen. I haven't used a blender pen in so long. I just wanna move the ink around on my little ducks 
um, to fill the to fill the color in and I'm not gonna worry about the beak or anything like that I'm just literally gonna move the um, ink around with my blender pen and keep it nice and simple I'll zoom you guys in just so you can see that ink move blender pens are so easy to work with but I definitely feel like they kind of get forgotten let me just make sure this is yeah, wiping clear. It is. Okay, so it's really easy. All you gotta do, whatever the solution is inside, you just rub it on like a marker and just moves that ink around. Okay, and I'll just get the legs a little bit. Really simple though. Okay, I think that looks good. All right, got you guys zoomed back. Oh, I still need that. Okay, so we've got that. And for my card base, I've got a piece of crumb cake cardstock. This is cut eight and a half inches by five and a half inches, and I've scored it at four and a quarter inches. And then I'm gonna take this piece of designer paper. This is from the Abigail Rose. And actually, when I originally made this card, let me find it. When I originally made it, I used this side of the pattern and then I realized, I don't know, it seems a bit too elegant for this uh, sentiment. Um, so I didn't really like it. I also didn't like very vanilla coordinates with Abigail Rose. I didn't like how that looked. I am a basic white person. I haven't used very vanilla in years. It's really, really rare that I use it. Uh, I mean, years, probably more than three years um, since I've used very vanilla, but I just, I don't know. I like basic white so much. So I said no, and um, I, I redid the card and I flipped the designer paper and actually this other pattern, the other side worked better. Um, I liked the look of it. So this piece of uh, early espresso, this is cut four inches by five and a quarter inches. And then my Abigail Rose designer paper is just an eighth of an inch less on all four sides. So that again, we get this really narrow border. Um, I like to keep my borders the same. So if I have a quarter inch border, um, then I'll do a quarter inch border on my layers. So since I have this eighth of an inch, I did an eighth of an inch on here as well. So I like to kind of keep that consistent on my layers for my cards, uh, just because I feel like it looks more balanced that way. But you know, it's up to you how you how you um, how you do it. But that's just what I like to do. Okay, so I'll just go ahead and use my stamp and seal to adhere this to the front of my card base. Okay, and then dimensionals on our little ducks here. So cute. Alrighty. Deet, deet. Okay. And I'm just putting that lower center. See, doesn't this pattern work better than the other side? I just like how that looks. Okay. Here we go, let me get these out of the way. And then to finish the card, I'm gonna add these champagne rhinestones. I love these, they are so pretty. So we will do uh, one of the medium ones just over here and then we'll put two smaller ones on the right hand side. Just a quick, quick, but cute card, <laughs> so cute. All right, so there you have it, you guys. I love this card, what do you think? Hey, good looking, I think it is so 
cute and that font actually doesn't look bad uh, when you separate the two stamp sets it doesn't look like they'll match well together but it actually looks really cute um, so I love it I hope you guys have enjoyed this and then of course you know I had to make a matching envelope so I just stamped that leafy image on the front in soft suede and then I found this uh, cute striped petal pink pattern in the Abigail Rose designer paper and I thought that really helped tie in the petal pink on the sentiment. So there it is. I hope that you have enjoyed. Don't forget we have summer celebration going until August 31st, 2022. So uh, you can earn free products for your qualifying orders between now and then. And you can order anything that you've seen me use in today's tutorial. Uh, in my online Stampin' Up! store, I've got all the products linked and listed down below in the video description and over on today's coordinated blog post with all of the measurements for this project. So thanks again for joining me. I hope that you enjoyed and stay tuned. I'll be back again very soon with another tutorial. Bye now.